Hello my Linians, this is Teacher Kevin and today we are going to discuss the topic Introduction to Quadratic Functions. This video tutorial is based from your learning activity sheets in Mathematics 9, Quarter 1, Week 6. So bring out your learning activity sheets as well as your learner's module and turn it to pages 125 to 139. Our learning targets are to model real-life situations using quadratic functions and to represent quadratic function using table of values, graph, and equation. Before the lesson, let's have some warm-up questions. I have here two questions for you to answer. The first question is, what is the degree of quadratic inequalities? Timer starts now. Time's up. What do you think is the answer? Good job. The degree is 2. The next question is, does the graph below illustrate a linear function? Yes or no? Timer starts now. Time's up. What do you think is the answer? Very good. No, because the graph of a linear function is a straight line. Let us define first what a quadratic function is. When we say quadratic function, these are the functions that can be described by the equations of the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to 0. Please take note that the value of a should not be equal to 0, but the values of b and c can be equal to 0. Remember, when you are in grade 8, your math teacher discussed that y is equal to f of x. Thus, quadratic function may also be written in the form f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. In quadratic function, the highest power of the independent variable x is always 2. Thus, the equation of a quadratic function is of degree 2. If you have noticed, quadratic equations and quadratic functions are both of degree 2. But what is the difference between quadratic equations and quadratic functions? Let's try an illustrative example. Look at the table on the screen. We can simply say that quadratic functions are equations with degree 2 and always equated to y or f of x. While quadratic equations are equations with degree 2 and always equated to 0 when written in a standard form. We now know the difference between quadratic functions and quadratic equations. This time, let's try to determine if the given examples are quadratic functions or not. Example number 1, y is equal to 3x minus 7. It is not quadratic function since the degree is not 2. Next example number 2, y is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 27. It is quadratic function since the degree is 2. Example number 3. y is equal to 6x cubed minus 5x minus 1. It is not quadratic function since the degree is 3. Example number 4. y is equal to quantity x plus 1 times quantity x plus 2. In this example, we must simplify it first so that we can see if it will become a quadratic function. After doing the FOIL method and simplifying it, we will get y is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2. That leads the function to be quadratic function. And number 5, y is equal to x times quantity x squared plus 4. 
just like in the previous example, we must simplify it first so that we can see if it will become a quadratic function or not. By multiplying the expression at the right side of the equation, we will get y is equal to x cubed plus 4x. Since the degree is 3, it is not a quadratic function. We are done in determining if an equation is a quadratic function or not. How about if we have a given table of values like this? Can we determine if the table of values represents a quadratic function or not? The answer is yes. To determine the table of values that shows data of quadratic function, it must satisfy that the first differences of x coordinates are equal and the second differences of y coordinates are also equal. But how we can show that? Let's take the given example. Given the table of values on the screen, First, we must get the first x differences. Note that to get the difference, you must subtract the number from the right to its next number to the left. Let's write 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. And so on up to the last first x differences. Second, let's get the first y differences. 14 minus 7 is equal to 7. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 2 minus negative 1 is equal to 3. Up to negative 1 minus 2 equals negative 3. Last step is to get the second y differences. That is 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 1 minus negative 1 is equal to 2, and negative 1 minus negative 3 is equal to 2. Remember that if we have table of values, it must satisfy that the first differences of x coordinate are equal, and the second differences of y coordinate are also equal. In conclusion, the given table of values is quadratic. We are done in determining quadratic functions given an equation or table of values. How about if the given is a graph? Remember in your grade 8, the graph of a linear function is a line. Now that if we have a quadratic function, does it mean the name of the graph of quadratic function is quad or quadrate? The answer is a big no. The graph of a quadratic function is a curve called parabola. Parabolas may open upward or downward and vary in width or steepness, but they all have the basic U shape. Here are examples of quadratic function. A parabola that opens upward and a parabola that opens downward. Note that a quadratic function does not open to the left or to the right. Here are examples of not parabolic shape. A line and a circle. Throwing a ball, shooting a cannon, diving from a platform, and hitting a golf ball are examples of situations that can be modeled by quadratic functions. Other examples of application of quadratic functions are shooting a ball, a bridge, and an umbrella. Let us summarize what we have discussed today. What is quadratic function? Quadratic functions are the functions that can be described by equations of the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c or f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. 
how to determine a quadratic function given its equation, table of values, and graph. To determine a quadratic function given its equation, write the equation in standard form and determine if the degree of the equation is 2. Well, if we have table of values, it must satisfy that the first differences of x coordinates are equal and the second differences of y coordinates are also equal. Lastly, if we have a graph, it must resemble a U-shape or the parabola. At this point, turn your activity sheet to enrichment part. Reminder, do not write anything on your activity sheet. Write your answer on a separate long band paper. For enrichment activity 1, given 10 equations, determine if the given is a quadratic function or not. Write QF if it is a quadratic function and N if not. For enrichment activity 2, on your answer sheet, copy the given table of values in the activity sheet and fill up the boxes with the correct differences. Then determine if the given table of values shows a quadratic function or not. For enrichment activity 3, look at the images in your activity sheet. Write parabola if the images resembles graph or application of quadratic function, otherwise write none. For enrichment 4, look at your surroundings then draw two scenarios where quadratic function can be applied. Use a piece of long band paper for your drawing. And for your wrap-up activity, just provide brief explanation to answer the following questions. I hope you learned something today. If you have questions or clarifications regarding the topic we discussed, feel free to contact your subject teacher through text or call. Or you may also post your question in your official Facebook group or page. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.